In the 1930s, the great guitarist Django Reinhardt invented a style of music now known worldwide as Gypsy Swing. It's infectious. Once bitten, there's no cure. Growing up in Fontainebleau, France, Stefan Remble caught the bug. Among his American admirers and collaborators are Patti Smith, Mariah Carey, and Woody Allen. Canapé goes to one of Stefan's performances and makes a pilgrimage to his home. to the gypsy campsites in north of Paris for like many years and I learned the traditional tricks, uh, the traditional way of playing like that, that gypsy style. It's really its own thing. Okay, it has a certain swing that you can recognize like from the rhythm guitar and you hear some tricks on the solo guitar. It's like more like of a world folk type of music. It's really ethnic. It has a very poetic soul. The gypsies are very carefree people. They call themselves manouche, which means human being. And you have gajo, which is a peasant. And they were so nice. I really took a lesson on hospitality. How did Woody Allen get in touch with me? His producer got in touch with me actually a few years ago when they were doing Vicky Cristina Barcelona. And then a few months ago, she contacted me again. She's like, can you write a theme for our next movie, Midnight in Paris? We need like a French environment, Paris. And uh, even if they are from Marseille, I thought of Fada because that's the Frenchiest bistro I know in New York, like with the real French soul, there is really something here. So I composed, because I never saw the movie, I composed it with my background of like traditional gypsy walls, the pictures I have of Paris and the picture of Fada. Now I don't live in New York anymore, I live in New Jersey, Maplewood, New Jersey. I just went outside New York because I need some nature, some peace, and like it's 15 minutes away and it's so beautiful. to compose that is always very close to film scoring. Usually my imagination is triggered by an event that happens in the world or in my life. The Arabic Spring started to like to blow, you know, it was very, very intense. And I was trying to feel like the peace that people want, you know, Vox Populi, you know, like really like 
It's not about the way they fight, it's like what they really want. Water is Life Records is my own record company. I choose uh, water as the cause that I want to participate in. There are areas in the world where uh, water is a matter of life and death, and the children usually pay the cost. Innocent people. So I give some money to water for people, and uh, they help people like uh, dig their own well. And once they can dig a well and bring water, then suddenly there's great sanitation, they can build schools. Children don't have to walk like 20 miles to, or 10 miles or something crazy just to get some water. So, I don't know, if there is a little thing I can do, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my little stone.